What's up everyone, Ben here, and I've got to share some shocking developments with you that the royal drama that seems to be getting messier by the day. Now you know I've never been one to shy away from expressing opinions, and today's topic has me fired up, so buckle up. We're diving deep into the latest rumours surrounding Meghan and Harry and even Princess Catherine. Yes, you heard that right, things are about to get wild. So now... I've been hearing whispers about Meghan supposedly selling private videos featuring not just Harry, but also the lovely Princess Catherine. Now, I know some of you have been dropping comments asking me if I've heard about Harry looking miserable in Jamaica or Meghan partying solo. Well, it seems like the drama is hitting a whole new level, guys, and it's time to spill the tea. Now, first things first, there's an article making the rounds blaming everyone from the Russians to other mysterious figures for the alleged hatred towards the monarchy. But let's cut through the noise. It's Harry and Meghan who have been staring the pot and they've got their own little army of followers willing to go along with whatever plan they're trying to hatch. Now, why Jamaica, you ask? Well, it turns out Harry got invited because he's still a British member of the royal family. Some say it's because Meghan is biracial, but let me set the record straight. Meghan isn't flying the flag for biracial or black freedom. She's a mixed race white woman who openly said she doesn't identify with the black community. So scratch that narrative. Now, let's talk about these private videos. The rumour mill is buzzing about Meghan selling footage that supposedly features not only Harry, but also Princess Catherine. If it's true, this is a whole new level of audacity. I mean, we're talking about members of the royal family dragged into what can be described as a messy plot against the monarchy. And why now? Well, my friends, it seems like Meghan and Harry are on a mission. If Meghan can't be the Queen of England, she's hell-bent on making sure she leaves a trail of chaos behind. It's a power move and Harry seems to be fully on board. I've said it before, these two play the victim game and now they're taking it up a notch. But let's not be naive. Harry knows exactly what he's doing, even if the results are questionable. He and Meghan are doing all of this out of spite, and it's not just family squabbles anymore. They've become pawns in a bigger political game, aligning themselves with the Biden administration and cozying up to China. And here's where it gets even murkier. Prince William, in an unprecedented move, has chosen China as the destination for his Earthshot Prize in 2024. Now, call me sceptical, but rewarding China, the biggest polluter of the planet, with an environmental prize... Something doesn't make sense here. But back to Meghan and Harry. The fact that Meghan is documenting everything from Harry's sour mood to behind-the-scenes footage in Jamaica is a red flag. She's building up her arsenal. For when the time is right, she might just unleash a storm of private videos leading the royal family helpers. And what's more alarming is that the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, created to foster inclusivity and better relations, ended up being a tool to rehabilitate Meghan and Harry's tarnished image. They were rewarded for bad behaviour and now we're witnessing the consequences. So my friends, the drama is far from over. The Sussexes are playing a dangerous game and it's not just about family disputes anymore. It's about politics, power and potentially damaging diplomatic relations. The questions remain. Is it all worth it for Meghan and Harry? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Of course, this is a raw roller coaster. And uh, we'll see you next time for more jaw-dropping updates. Bye for now.